It is the 10th of the month, which means it's time for you to call your buddy and remind them of the Buddy Check 10 reminder. Call up your buddy, tell them to do a breast self-exam, and do one yourself. You can find more resources and stories of hope right now at WBIR.com under the Features tab. And tonight, 10 News reporter Katie Inman explains how Lady Vols basketball helped a sports writer cope with her breast cancer diagnosis. It provides a, a rhythm. Writing is a rhythm and a cadence. You have to get the words to flow in the right direction. Basketball, very much the same. It's, it's a rhythm and a cadence to the game. Maria Cornelius is a sports writer who's covered Lady Vols basketball since 1998. She fell in love with the game and can still hear the voice of Pat Summit in TVA. She's coaching. She's teaching. She's probably yelling. She spent years watching, writing, and snapping pictures at hundreds of games. But there's one match she'll never forget. It was a, it was a Sunday morning. The Lady Vols were getting ready to play North Carolina, and I was getting ready for the game. And I was always aware that women should do their own self checks. She knew something wasn't right after doing a breast self exam and scheduled a mammogram the next day. Two weeks later, her worst fears were confirmed. She had breast cancer. I just turned out all the lights and, and cried. I mean, I'm not uh, ashamed to say I broke down. She was scheduled to fly to Texas the next morning to cover the Lady Vols against Baylor. I could have just said I'm not leaving. I'm staying home. And then I, I said, well, what would Pat do? Like Pat would get up. Pat would tell you to get up and fight. So I got up, packed my bags and flew to Texas the next morning. The rhythms of basketball and the support from the team kept her going. It's a reminder that you're not alone. She had a double mastectomy and has been cancer free for seven years. Still here to write, watch and encourage. Don't ignore changes to your own body. Go get checked.